Hey, what's up, guys? This is BNB and a new tutorial. As usual, we are here again to create an amazing project. This time, I will make an indoor gardening system to take care of my sweet plant and its beautiful flowers. So let's see how to make it. This is a short description about the project and how it works. I will make an Arduino-based system to supervise the temperature and humidity status of my plant and automatically provide its necessary needs like light intensity, water, and pure fresh air. And in order to do this, I will need some sensors to control some actuators. For example, I will control the light intensity depending on the signals received from the light brightness sensor. The same for watering, I used a moisture sensor to turn on and off a water pump and temperature and humidity sensor for an on and off controlling of a 12 volt DC fan. Now let's move to my desktop to start making this super amazing project. As I said in the description, we will use some sensors and actuators, all connected to an Arduino Nano board. This is why I've decided to prepare a PCB in order to bring a better appearance for the project. So I've moved to this online platform where I made this schematic, which is available through the link provided in the description of this video. After having all the connection, I've transformed this schematic into PCB. And after adding some sweet logos and guider levels, our circuit is ready now to be produced. In order to produce the PCB, I have compared the price from many PCB producers and I choose GLC PCB, the best PCB suppliers and the cheapest PCB providers to order the circuit. All what I need to do is some simple clicks to upload the gerbil file and set some parameters like the PCB thickness, color and quantity. Then I've paid just $2 to get my PCB after 3 days only. And I've noticed that there is some free shipping offers from time to time in this online ordering platform. As you can see, the PCB is very well manufactured and I've got the same PCB leaf shape that we've designed. And all the levels and logos are there to guide me during the soldering steps. Now let's review the necessary components that we need for this project. I need a PCB that I've ordered from GLC PCB, one Arduino Nano, one ESP01 Wi-Fi module, HC06 Bluetooth module, the HT11 temperature and humidity sensor, a light sensor, a moisture sensor, DC12 volt fan, 3.3 voltage regulator, IRF540 MOSFET, some capacitors and resistors, white LEDs, optocouplers, some screw heater connectors, DC12 volt motor pump, some seal heater connectors, DC jack connector and for sure fuse for protection. Now everything is ready so let's start soldering these components. As you can see, using this PCB is so handy because of its quality. And for sure, all the levels there provide the best guidance for you. So you will be 100% sure that you will not make any soldering mistakes.
I've soldered each component to its placement and you can use both sides of the PCB to solder your electronic parts. Now we have the PCB ready and all the components soldered very well. After that, I prepared this design to make a CNC laser cutting in order to insert the electronic part and the plant in one support. So if you want to make the same design as mine, just move to the description below where you will find a download link for the DXF files. Now we install each sensor and actuator to its appropriate placement and we connect them to our circuit using the seal connectors and the screw heater connectors. About the placement, you can find it through the PCB levels. About the watering part, I've used this small container where I dropped some water for my plant. Everything is ready now and all what we need is the Arduino source code and the Android app to control the whole system. I've prepared this Android app that you can download for free from the link down below. This app will allow you to connect to your Arduino through Bluetooth and using the manual mode you can have access to the fans and lights and also the water pump for an on and off controlling without forgetting the sensors that you can read them data by pressing the gate data button and all the appropriate data will be displayed on your smartphone screen. About the Arduino source code, as usual, I always think about you guys, those who want to follow my steps and try this project. So I've prepared this source code, which is available in the description of this video. And as you can see, the code is very well commanded and you can easily understand it your own. Moving back to our little garden, I insert the plant inside and I connect the moisture sensor. And we run the Android app. Choose a device to connect. You are connected. 
Once connected, you can turn on and off the lights and you can control the fans too. Reading the sensor's values is so simple now. And the last step is watering using the water pump. As you can see guys, now my plant will be better in this safe and secure gardening system, which is a real amazing project that I advise you to try it. Don't forget to thumb and subscribe to my channel for more awesome projects. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BNB from Megadas. See you next time.